Right. The moment is basically here. <laughs> there are 22,000 people waiting for this, bro. That is a whole lot of people. I, a lot of people are predicting it'll be explorers, but I guess we'll see. Wait, I have an idea. Yo! He's hanging out! Wait, I'll turn him this way, though, so that he's, like, facing the camera a little bit more. It is officially 4 p.m. Eastern time on September 4th, 2022. YouTube has decided... Oh, uh, we get the big dramatic one, too. Oh, I see how it is. I don't think we're getting a release date. If, if you want to have that hope, you do you. But I am not necessarily thinking that along those lines. See, I know this is somewhat toxic of me to say, considering I premiere basically everything. But the premiere timers, man, as- Oh, they suck. Why? Like, why? I know why, but like, it says 4 p.m., so I think it's 4 p.m. And then I sit here for two extra minutes, and I'm like, Bro, I just wanna- I just wanna see it! I just wanna see the video! I just wanna see the video! But I have to wait an extra 47, 46, 45 seconds, it just keeps going down. And it's like, I just wanna see- <sighs> Okay, we're, we're doing a big countdown here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What are we getting? What are we getting? It is Explorers. Okay. I don't know how to begin processing this. <laughs> I need to be thinking here. Oh shoot. Oh lord. What is this? Oh my god. Everything's moving! Oh. Bro! Robtop hit us with the ad read! What's this? Okay. So... So, is this the map, right? There was a person, but I covered him. I know for a fact you could not see him. Yeah, that's the sneak peek. <laughs> now what we do is we download this and we frame by frame analyze it because you may or may not know this. That's how it goes. Okay, here we go, besties. We're gonna be analyzing. So I've somehow, I don't know where I ended up. So we start off there's this guy. Don't know who he is. On the left, that was a lot of blomp. So there's this guy, bottom left, little buddy, little pal, little bro, new icon. Kind of cute, sort of looks like a Discord icon, but isn't actually one. We already got the spider orbs, so that's cool. The way it works here, okay, so you see there's an orb here and there's an orb here. The spider orbs, as they are called. Ugh, indeed. We got this one and we got this one. What I'm noticing is that you can actually change the direction that they send you in. So with black orb, like I looked at this and I was like, this looks like a black orb would, it ju it's just doing what a black orb would do because you're clicking it and you're immediately jumping, like your, your momentum is changing, you're ending up right below. But then you come over here and now that's not black orb behavior because if this was a black orb, you would just launch yourself right into the spikes below, right? So what's interesting is you can actually change the direction that you send the player with these, which is really cool. Then there's these things, right? We use the spider orbs again to end up up here and this green like glow on the blocks, it seems like basically behaves. So it basically like it grabs the character and changes their... It grabs the player and it changes their gravity to wherever it is. So like here, it's it's like sticky pads of some sort. It's like green orb behavior in that it's changing your gravity, but it's like you don't have to click to, I think it happens naturally. It seems like it would happen naturally. So obviously don't hit the, you, so obviously you do hit that black orb. That's what I was gonna say. I said don't on accident. <clears throat> um, so you hit this, end up over here. So teleport orbs are an actual thing now, instead of just being like trigger orbs, which is kind of a dub. IMO, there's a chromatic aberration effect. Triple, aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. 
So this is like a field of sorts that just boop, you just bounce out of it. You just kind of, you just go in, you go boop, intriguing. Jump over this, boop. Yep, that's about what I expected. Another triple. Three more spider orbs. Cool. Aha. Teleport portals, except without the portals. Teleport pipes. What, where does this drop you? So that turns. So you can jump out of here. You click that and it makes this so that it doesn't kill you. I assume without clicking that you die. One of these things. Just, yeah. This kind of technique keeps going on. Got more of these teleport orbs. Spider orbs is what they're called. I forgot what they were called. More of these little sticky things, I guess. So what's cool here is it seems like you jump into the, like, the skulls. What, you, I, I, I would have thought they would kill you, but they just kind of open up. They're just, they're just hanging out. They're just buddies. So this part, this is a lot to take in. There's a lot to take in here right off the bat. So we go into a spider mode, and then the gates in between the cross open up. So I just, you just, you just kind of, whoa. You go, you go from here, and then it's like, huh, it's like when you're playing Pac-Man or something, and you go from one side to the other, except instead of going from one side to the other, you go from one side to the other, I don't know, it's a different axis. So you just, you just move in, you just move in, and then it does it again, except now you're this game mode, it's regular, skull opens again, we rotate too. Wow, this is going to take a good amount of memorization. <laughs> That'll take quite a bit. This looks obscenely difficult, I'm not gonna lie. Sideways wave? We rockin' with the sideways mini wave? <laughs> I don't know if I'm rocking with the sideways mini wave, I'm not gonna lie, she seems a bit complicated. Spider orbs, we rotate again, back to the actual spider. Okay, this is funny. So this is a funny, look at the trail there. That's just, I don't know, it, it makes me smile because it's so unusual. Like the curved rainbow trail, it's so funny. Um, so we got that. I guess you hit the orb to get rid of the lava. That's actually kind of funny. Look at how it like zaps the lava, right? You click on the orb and it like zaps away the lava. Fun. Does it there too? Spider orb onto the wall. That seems kind of difficult. Uh, spider orb. Oh, the, the, that's not a spider orb, it's a toggle orb. I mean, what does this do? Does this get rid of this, like, the saw thing? Yeah. So, then you somehow end up over here into the wave. Forgot. But look on the right! What is that on the right? The, the guy. What's the guy? Anyway, then we get the scratch jump scare. So that's good. We can still hyper analyze this stuff after. Okay. This looks like the wizard tower from Stardew Valley. <laughs> but I'm also chronically online. Oh, look at this! Right here, there's a little- there's a little GD cube face. That's cute. Just a little buddy. Little guy. Um, this background is actually cool. Do you see, like, the trees and stuff? That would be cool if that's actually a level background you can use. Maybe it isn't, but it does kind of look like it could be. This is- it's- it, I'm assuming this is some sort of map. Maybe it's not the map, but it's definitely some sort of, like, progressive- Bro, are we getting GD story mode? Like, what's going on here? Are we getting GD story mode? I don't know about that. But look, you got the face in the wall. That's, I love the little- the textures here are so fun. So you guys couldn't see this before because I was in front of it, so I'm gonna get rid of myself, but- Boom. There's a dude there. There's a guy in the corner. I don't know who he is, but he's kind of scary. It caught me off guard a little bit. Well, yeah, I mean, I kind of think that's all I can really look at. I don't know what else I can do, honestly.